Man, I love shit. What? Morning, folks. Cam Griffin from Binui Family Grazing. I got little Glenn uh, out with me today. That's right, Glenn. <laughs> He's probably my favorite out of the three because he's the only boy and the others are girls and boy stuff. Pretty excited about today's video as I feel pretty strongly about trying to share low input, low cost grazing tips and techniques and methods that can really help improve the overall health of our soils and therefore the, the, the profitability and productiveness of them. So as I've talked about in another video, plant diversity out in our pasture mix is so important for the health of our soil but also for the animal the animal needs to be able to balance their own diet on a range of grasses and legumes over time history's kind of shown us with you know ancient civilizations and whatnot that any farming system that relies solely on one species on a monoculture will eventually fail monocultures don't exist in nature come on big man come on big man you got a big bark and ah! <laughs> and to get that desired diversity there are kind of two ways that we can go about it we can use our grazing management so high animal impact and long recovery periods trying to stimulate that soil surface and disturb it enough that seeds that are already in our seed bank have the opportunity to express themselves and germinate or the other method if we want to speed up the establishment of new species out in our pasture we can purchase in seed we can buy seed and then try to incorporate it in our existing pasture mix through a number of methods and that's kind of what I'm going to talk about today is a low-cost method that we can use to get that seed out into our pasture and that is fecal seeding butt broadcasting poo planting whatever you want to call it but basically we're getting the cattle to do all the hard yards so how it works is we need the cattle to ingest the seed so I've been mixing it with a Megamin mineral blend 50% protein meal. You could probably use a straight soybean meal, straight copra meal. I'd probably just recommend not using a straight mineral blend because they can be quite bitter and the consumption rates aren't very high so they might not actually take in very much seed. Once the cattle have taken in that seed, it goes through their four stomachs and then comes out the other end in their poop. So while they're out grazing in their field, they're spreading that seed through their manure, which really is the perfect seed bed. It's moist, it's got a really good pH between seven and eight, and the digested plant material gives that seed really good seed soil contact so that it can help germinate. So some tips with seed selection. Firstly, it has to be a hard seed, and typically that's your legumes. There aren't too many grasses that have a really hard seed. I know kaikuyu um, is one grass that you could try use, but it has to be able to withstand that digestion process that's going through the beast and still come out viable at the other end. It is worth mentioning that no matter what seed you do use, you're going to lose about 20 to 30 percent in that digestion process but to me it's it's definitely still worth it and it's still economical and still a great way to do it even with those losses. The mix that I'm using at the moment is a three-way blend of arrowleaf clover, vetch and barrel medic and they're all hard seeded winter legumes and I went with those because we've got mainly summer dominant grasses and legumes where I graze and I wanted to be able to capitalize on that winter rain and still get some good production so I needed a low cost method and I needed to implement some, some new pasture species. We do have some native clovers and that around but you don't get the same forage production and yield as you do with some of these more developed I guess pasture species. In terms of summer legumes I know some people use Progardis desmanthus, Wincassia, um, you could try sorghum and millet. Um, glycine, cowpea, um, you know any of those hard seeded legumes even though sorghum's not a legume it's still got that hard seed. The planting rate that I'm working at at the moment is around a kilo a hectare so I work that out by 
as you see I move cattle daily I figure how many moves I'm gonna get per hectare and at the moment I get about two moves two days per hectare which means I'm gonna be sticking about 500 grams in each of those paddock divisions so 500 grams each day and I've been doing that for a while and I'll show you some of the results a bit later on <music> And it is worth mentioning that if you are going to try this type of planting that you do have the ability to somewhat segregate animals or eliminate livestock activity from where you just planted because if those animals have the ability to access 100% of your farm 100% of the time then those new seeds that have just started to grow and germinate are constantly going to be nipped off and pruned by those livestock that can come back they're never going to get a chance to set their roots set their tiller leaves and really start to get growing they're just going to be constantly flogged down and they won't be very persistent they'll be wiped out so I would recommend that if you can let them you know do your fecal planting and then lock that paddock off you know even if it's just a quarter of your farm lock that off for a couple of months and let those pasture species really establish themselves. So why I love this method so much, it's the ultimate low input, low cost pasture improvement program. So if I was gonna do it the conventional method, I'd need a tractor, I'd need a direct drill, I'd need diesel, I'd need time and labor to drive the tractor, and I'd need the seed. If I was gonna do it the fecal seeding method, they need the lick and the seed. And that's it. My machine is the cow. Four wheel drive. It's powered by solar energy. It's powered by the sun which grows grass which fuels the beast. Freaking awesome. Four legs that can get up into ranges and rocks and parts of properties that you can't even get a tractor anyway. So it may be your only method. It's natural. It's how, it's how livestock and herbivores have spread seed for tens of thousands of years so it works so we'll head down now and I'll mix some up for them So I've got two of these cut in half 44 lick tubs and I fill up half a bag each and I try and put that at the opposite end to the water source. That's just so that I know there's a greater distance that they're walking, even though they're, they're walking across the whole paddock because I have them mobbed up most of the day. It's just so that there's a better chance of them dropping that manure between the water point and the lick tub. Dropping the first one off, and I'll take this one to a different corner. And that's how it starts, taking in that seed. What I will probably try do next time I do a bit of a fecal seeding program is I'll try and get a one long narrow trough that we can get more heads in there. But I have seen some left at the end of the day, so if there's some left at the end of the day, then it means that everyone's had some and there's a bit left over. So this paddock here was fecal seeded about 10 days ago and you can see some of the medics starting to come through. So 
I'm coming up through there. Just try and find a little bit of vetch for you. Um, obviously there are some that haven't had any germinate through them. There we go. Here's some vetch coming up there. And then that's more, that's more battle medic. Haven't seen too much clover, but it might kick in a little bit later and give it a bit of time. Well, I hope that was helpful, guys, and maybe gave you a bit of an idea of how you can do it on your places and, and your farms. But if you're interested in any of those seed mixes um, or anything like that, just shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Not sure how it works on YouTube, but yeah, I can um, try and do up a bit of a mix for you or a, a summer mix if you're interested in something like that. But like the channel, subscribe if you're enjoying some of the stuff that I'm putting out, and I'll see you guys next time.